It wouldn't be a Soltex without the opportunity to have a chat with the man standing next to me here, Dave Withers of, of Izeki. So good to see you again, David. Good to see you. Lovely. Lovely. To see and you. We are standing in front of a, of a new machine. Lovely yes. Of a new machine. Yes, no, it's always wonderful to have a new machine here at Soltex. We always try and time something to launch here. And, uh, and this year we've got our new TM range. Yeah, so we're excited about that. Yeah. Now, why is this a must buy machine? Yes, I think one of the big changes that's happened over recent years is people are looking for more multi-purpose use from their machinery. And particularly up in the north and Scotland, um, you know, there's a snow um, work as well as the sort of summer work of cutting grass. And so one of the issues we've had is that our machine of this sort of size hasn't had a cabin available, which does make it a little chilly uh, for when you're going out there salt spreading and, uh, and plowing and so on. So our new machine, it's a brand new machine, but it also now has an option of a cabin. And I think that's going to be really big for our uh, northern customers. I think what you're basically saying is that us up north are, are turning soft. You could say that, Scott. I couldn't possibly <laughs> comment along those lines. But, but yes, that's a good, uh, it's a good thing to have for us to have. seriously, now, to have cabs yeah. has come in recently, and we all want to have more comfort, padded seats and air con and all the rest of it. Yeah. So to stick cabs on here, is a, as you say, I don't think where people are getting softer and they'll look to see whether they can get the option of a little bit more comfort than they maybe would have needed in the past. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you think about it, all this stuff starts with the big tractors. They always had cabs, little tractors didn't. And then gradually over the years, we've moved cabins and further sort of in environmental stuff further down the food chain, if you like. And so now this is only a 25 horsepower tractor, you know, so relatively small horsepower tractor, but now has got a lot of the bells and whistles that you'd expect on a much larger tractor and I think we need that for that winter work. I think talking about I'm actually getting soft as well because my wife she's got heated seats heated steering wheels in her car and I'm thinking I don't have that in mine but it'd be quite nice. <laughs> yeah well I'm sorry you don't get that on me so we're not quite that far yet. Well but, that'll uh, be the next that'll be the next 2.0. 2. 2. 2.0 yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, just sure sure yeah. absolutely. So nice spacious cab uh, we've got here with a nice cloth seat with suspension uh, but you, when you're in here you've really got a very good environment to work in great visibility it's got good uh, demist capacity as well which is obviously important because people get in and they're wet uh, so that's important and it has got air con uh, as well believe it or not even in a tractor of, uh, of this <laughs> size so no it really is a really good spacious cab uh, and, and I think still works with this size of tractor is that a salt bin at the back or is that top dressing? Or yes, no, that's for salt. So you can put a salt uh, in the back there. Mm -hmm. And then actually we've got an attachment. I haven't had it fitted to this one. This only, it is a prototype. It only came in recently. But on the front, there'd be another linkage there for you to put a snow plow. So plow on the front, salt on the back. That and then, and then the in the snow. summer, you've got... The in the summer, you go mowing with it. Yeah. Really? So it's a great... 12 um, months of the year machine. 12 months of the year work, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, no, so we're excited about that. It's a... It's a it's a market that's existed for a while and that we haven't had a cabbed unit to work with. So when the new machine was developed, this TM4 series, we said we must have a cabin and, and we've got that now. So that kind of opens up that snow work for us. I can see that being very useful for the state work, estates and uh, local authorities as well. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, lo local authorities are looking to how can they improve the environment for their, for their uh, employees. And uh, yeah, more and more people are moving to cabins. I think we spoke last probably at um, Harrogate, I would imagine, back back yep. in January. How's life been? How's the company been proceeding over the last, what, 11 months or so? Yeah, no, really good, actually. I mean, we'll have another record year this year. We continue to grow. Um, we are now double what we were when we started in 2018. Is that in line with expectations or targets Almost at that point? Almost exactly, actually. You know, it's pretty much what we said when we started. We thought we could double it in five years. I think it's taken six actually to do that but with covid in the middle maybe that's I'm not going to say bad. where would you have been without that yeah exactly we'd, we'd probably been a little bit further ahead so no it's been really good and we're just lucky you know we, we, we've got a great team of people the product's bulletproof uh we've been growing our dealerships and um, we've got more dealers out there so there's more people out there waking up every morning thinking i must go and sell blue tractors i must go and sell blue mowers and that's what we want you know and we, we we've just found if you get the machines in front of people they want to buy them and once they bought one, they'll buy another one. And so, uh, yeah, we're just very fortunate, really. Now, you met the last five-year target, you are just telling mm -hmm. me just now. What's the next five-year target? Is it double again? Because obviously that's going to be more difficult because of the size of the company. But is that where you're looking? Retirement, Scott. <laughs> you, and I, you and I both. 
Yeah, I think I think there's an opportunity to continue to grow. As you know, as, as companies grow, you're never going to grow at the same percentage rate uh, because it's just so much extra volume. But uh, there's no reason why we can't continue to grow our market share, continue to look after our customers and make sure that we're a, you know, a force for good within the industry. Well, I'll let you go now and we'll continue to have these chats until the day we do retire, Absolutely. whenever that may well be. Yeah. But good to see you and we'll see you soon. Lovely to see you as well, Scott. All the best. Good man. Cheers.